Okay, so time for the next video. Uh, this is a continuation on the previous video. So if you've not watched the previous video, then I will um, pop a link up in the top right hand corner for you to jump to that video first. So what we did in the previous video is we created a link between 40 client EMS, which is hosted on Fortinet's infrastructure, um, and Azure Active Directory. Um, what I've done now is I've gone over to Azure Active Directory and I have simply created uh, two new users, so c.edisford and 40 bytes. Then I have gone into my VMware host and I have created uh, a Windows um, 10 machine that's just got blank configuration on it. It's just had its network and DNS configured, nothing else. So what I have done is I've typed settings in the uh, tab at the bottom. I've clicked the connect button. I select join this device to Azure Active Directory. Okay, there we go. Authenticator app, hang on. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Brilliant. Okay, so just before we finish this off, I just want to show you, I've gone into my 40 client cloud, back on pane, domains, my uh, Windows or Azure Active Directory domain, 40 bytes group, which is where the user is. And as you can see, there are no endpoints in here at all. Okay, so I'm gonna install 40 client now on the Windows 10 machine. Could still see that it's still joined to Azure Active Directory. Yeah, here. Yeah, it's still joined. Just want to show that. So let's see where we get this. Had to extend the hard disk because it only created a really small partition on the virtual host. Uh, we'll probably have ZTNA, but we'll just do that for now. Uh, yeah, we want that for the next video. Okay. Where are you? There you are, not at the bottom. So there is no, we're not joined to any EMS at the minute. I'm just going to pop the invite code in. And there, there we are, connected to EMS. So let's give it a little minute and see what happens on the EMS instance on the cloud. Yeah, it's got another, it's got another endpoint, so local user here yeah. so what we're going to need to do is log out <laughs> no so we're going to try and sign in with azure active directory yeah Or in is 40 client EMS running? It is. What does 40 client EMS think? It's hosted and it's synced. And you can see that this desktop is logged in with C Edisford using Azure Active Directory. A quick break. Um, 
this is the 23rd video on the cha channel. Um, if you're able to browse from this video to other videos on the channel, it helps me greatly with the algorithm. So I'd really appreciate it if you could check out some of the other videos that are on there. And now we will go back to continuing on with the main video. Oh yeah, using the 40 bytes account. I'm going to simply confirm this. So if I just do who am I, you can see that I'm logged in via 40 bytes using Azure Active Directory. 40 client EMS is installed. It's synced up to my cloud instance. And if I go over to my cloud instance, go all endpoints, you can see that this desktop is logged in via 40 bytes via Azure Active Directory. And that wraps this video up. So thank you for tuning in. Um, as we said at the start of the um, video, this is part of a series. The next video is going to include 40 Authenticator. Um, and we are finally going to demonstrate how to get Fortinet single sign-on working with Azure Active Directory. So there'll be that component, we'll do the integration, we'll do the setup, and then we might actually talk about why Fortinet single sign-on is useful and why this specific integration with Azure Active Directory is going to be so, so important for the future because many of the clients that I work for are moving away from having on-prem Active Directory and are simply having it hosted in the cloud. Thank you for tuning in and we'll see you in the next video.